Today I'm going to be showing y'all how I did these two pages and a few more trying out gel image transfers for the first time. It was super fun, I learned a lot, and let's just get right into this. Hey everybody and welcome back to Art Therapy with Jen. We're going to start off uh, making the backgrounds for these images. I'm just playing around. I had a super stressful work week and I was like, you know what? We're just going to play around in my try anything once type of journal on some mixed media paper. And let's just push some paint around and just try out all kinds of new different things. Um, you see there, I'm just going straight on the mixed media paper with a palette knife and just that paint and then I got my trusty baby wipes around <laughs> I tell y'all what I use those all the time they clean up everything better than just anything I can find and since I don't bind my pages in until I'm totally done with a journal you'll see me working on several pages today uh, this particular journal if y'all have seen my other videos my challenge journal it's set up in the style of almost like a traveler's notebook, so I don't even bind the pages anyway. So you're going to see quite a few pages, and you're going to see my trusty heat gun, like you saw there, because I'm in love. This is the best. And um, I asked y'all if you had any good names for it, and Joe Faye came up with a good one I like. I think we're going to name it Rosie. Rosie the heat gun. She works hard for me. She really does. <laughs> and... Uh, Y'all see there, I'm just taking different paint, and I'm just being messy, and being just grunging it up, and just doing whatever. <laughs> you know, and using old Rosie. Love her heart. I put her through it. <laughs> Alrighty, and I'm cleaning up, proud of myself, moving on to the next one. This one, um, I had a, this is like my leftover paint I've just been putting on this page and I put a very thin layer of gesso on top and I just wanted to add a pop of color here so I went in with this I believe this is a jade color pot impasto paint and I just really love that pop of color on there and just that's all I'm going to do with that other than um well dry it out and get ready for the next step there And moving on to the next two pages, starting off with some black, which I try. <laughs> One of the biggest mistakes I always used to make, and I still do, I did not realize in acrylic paint, like black paint a little goes a very long way. Oh my goodness, I noticed a lot of these real experienced painters and stuff, they don't even use blacks and browns and grays. Like they'll mix a ton of colors together to get that. I am like an infant when it comes to paint other than, you know, painting walls in the house. I'm pretty good at that by now. And just, you know, playing around like this. But I I have fun with it, y'all. That's how we learn. I really want to do kind of a grungy, um, like, gothy Halloween-y type color palette with these two. I love that purple and black together. Just classic. Love it. Again, just getting some texture on there with the palette knife. One of these days, I'm going to use a paintbrush. I promise. Someday. <laughs> Someday. And I really liked this color combo after I put it down. You have a, that warm purple and then the cool purple with the black and the white. I just, I love the way it looked. It's like grungy paint style something you'd see in Beetlejuice or something. <laughs> I didn't say it, so, you know, three times, so we're good. We're good. <laughs> Let's see. And then I'm going on with a little bit of white, just to lighten it up a little bit. No rhyme or reason, just having some fun. Getting those backgrounds down before I go and do the image transfers. <laughs> and just trying stuff out. Like I've said with this journal before, I just go with it. And here's something I have never tried in my life. I have some of these Distress Oxides from Tim Holtz, which is like these pigment 
ink pads and I tried to think of how I'd seen people use them online I don't know if I did it right or not I saw them tapping the ink pads down a lot and then putting a little bit of water and then smushing the paper on top of it but now that I'm looking back I'm thinking I probably should have used one color at a time I don't know <laughs> I'll have to do some more research um I do kind of like what it built up to, but I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with that a lot more, definitely, because I've seen people get super awesome um, patterns and things, and mine just seemed to be watered out a little bit. I also think I probably should have sealed the page beforehand because that mixed media paper, it takes paint fine, but the little bit of water I was putting on with the oxides it that paper did not want to deal with that it really did not so if I do it again definitely well I will do it again but when I do it again I'm going to use probably watercolor paper or I'm going to seal um, the page with gesso or something first just to kind of build it up a little bit I really, I like how it looks, but I tell y'all, I, I did not enjoy doing all that. I was like, I can't get these to do nothing I want them to do. <laughs> we'll figure it out, though. That's how you learn. You just jump in there and see what happens, and hopefully you do a little bit of research, unlike myself. <laughs> we just go with it. Now, here I'm going through my stash, and um, I did watch a short video um, from Southern Gals Design uh, on YouTube. She did some gel transfers. I think I watched one from Shannon Green as well. So I was trying to think of what they had done. Um, I'm just picking out my images there. I'll go ahead and tell y'all. I'll share my tips with you um, as we go because there are definitely some things I do not do correctly in here. I don't think there's some things rather I'm going to try once I do it again to see if it works better and I kept this part in because I want y'all to see what the image looks like before I put it on there and try this now I'm using this um, gel medium I got this in a little kit from um, Finnabar and first time I've used this stuff I don't like to use gloss and gloss gel and all that very much because it stays sticky in a journal and I usually have to go back over it with wax and you know I, I can't be bothered <laughs> so what I'm doing here I'm just taking the gloss gel medium and I'm putting it on the image there the thing that I actually want to stick down and stay on the page and I'm going there um, and really you know scraping over it a lot of people use gift cards and stuff once I put down the page to really get it solid on there and I'll go ahead and tell y'all something that I think I did very wrong and I was thinking back on it you see there I put the gel medium on the image but I look back on other stuff because I have varying success with this y'all will see later I did not put it down on the paper itself and I think I would have got a better result on some of them with that and also when I went in there with that real chunky paint texture there because some of that paint was pretty thick it didn't leave me an even surface so that's two things to keep in mind if you're going to do this I do know later on I want to try with more traditional um, materials that people would have on hand like I totally want to try one with like some Elmer's glue all and stuff like that here's another thing you can see me do you see me um, tearing up these little bits of paper and using those I wanted to see if I could transfer some texture from little images like that and this is something I'm definitely going to use a lot more because I loved the layer which y'all will see la later that that put on top of the paint so it doesn't just have to be like an image of a person if you find a really cool texture or something oh that was super fun and also here's another thing I told y'all 
this oxide page right here I told y'all about it you know the paper getting wet and I mean Rosie she worked her little butt off trying to you know my heat gun trying to get that dry right but I don't think it was totally dry <laughs> So, y'all will see later. I have some fun when we go to lift these off. So, if I was working with um, more water-based things, I would definitely let the page set probably overnight before I attempted to do this on it. But I was on a mission. I was not to be stopped. <laughs> and there I'm putting down just um, texture pieces as well. No um, focal images or anything just to try that out. Alrighty, and here I am through the magic of editing. I'm going to start um, revealing my transfers here and seeing how well they did. And let me just pause here for a second for y'all. Um, because this is, there's no like real transition in here. So what I had done, I stuck all those images down and um, I let that gel medium dry completely which it dried really fast like 15 to 20 minutes it was done and then following directions uh, that I saw on other videos I just wetted the back a little bit and then you start with your hands or I saw Shannon Green used a toothbrush so I did both um, and uh, you just start peeling that paper away and what you're left with is that image that's actually got imprinted onto the gloss gel medium so that's what I'm doing here and you'll see I have varying success with it this first one here that you see that's like those gears or that propeller or engine or whatever it is that is my most successful one as far as the image coming through as a whole and I think part of that was because I had that gesso on there and this was one of the smoother surfaces but that one I did it first it happened easy peasy and I thought oh this is nothing this is great but then I move on to the other ones <laughs> but anyway let's continue here and you can you you can see me struggle y'all let's just struggle all all over the place and Another hard part is just trying to get all that pulp off of the paper, you know, the pulp from the paper, which I'm Southern, I'm saying P-U-L-P, pulp, <laughs> if you can't understand me, but um, without actually rubbing the image off. Now, this uh, red, white, and blue one you see on the right there, that was probably my least successful one. It didn't really take it all. Um... And see, here I am going here. I got the bright idea that I was going to spray them all down and wet them all and then go back and try to get it off. And I really found that that didn't really help me any. Um, it kind of soaked in and it was actually harder for me <laughs> to get it off of there. Um, so learn from me. I, would, I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> also don't recommend trying to do like, what, six, seven of these in one day. Can y'all tell I was stressed that week? <laughs> I don't really recommend that either. And this one I started using the toothbrush because I think that magazine page there, it had that glossy backing on it. I think that's another factor of what type of magazine page you have. I may have to do some experiments to see if you would benefit more from a like one a thinner page versus one of those real thick high quality pages I don't know this one came out kind of grungy so it worked but more of the image either got rubbed off or didn't transfer than I would have liked especially the girl in the middle there it kind of took half her face sorry about that <laughs> and then this one this is the one y'all uh, one of the ones y'all saw in my um, intro snippet it's that um, lady that she had the red background and then I took those strips and put them down and this one she did not transfer all the way it was very um, distressed looking but oh my gosh I dug how it came out so it worked to that advantage it wasn't intentional but you know we're gonna say it was <laughs> I meant to do that y'all I meant to do that but it just added this vibe to it that I really enjoyed <laughs> oh 
That did not want to come up. I tell y'all what, that did not want to come up. There's a lot of videos with um, image transfers. I need to watch some more. I've seen a lot of people, they actually take um, printouts, like, you know, of family pictures and things. And they transfer them onto really nice, like, pieces of wood for decoration. They do all kinds of stuff. I was really, it was really neat to see. Oh, gosh. And this page right here, you have to be very careful. Careful. I wetted this page way too much. And I had a, one of my pages on the um, other side of it. And I about really messed it up. I ended up taking a little hunk out of the page. But luckily, it was just at the top corner. So, luckily, <laughs> it didn't really mess it up too much. I think... I would have benefited from using watercolor paper as well. This dog right here, this was actually my, um, I would say, probably second most successful. It um, really worked out. This was just from an ad I got when I ordered cat food the last time. I still, though, I'm not going to use the toothbrush again. Because, unless I'm de-stressing, because it seemed like, or distressing, I'm like, de-stressing? <laughs> but I'm not going to do it again unless, like I said, I want it to look distressed. Because it seemed like it was too harsh and I had a soft bristle. Though I did note, um, I did see Shannon Green on her video, if you're familiar with her, using a toothbrush. But... She actually built up layers of the gloss gel medium. So she would, she wouldn't attach it to the paper yet. And she would do like a layer on the image and then let that dry and do another layer on the image and let that dry. And then she'd do another one. And then I think she would actually rub the back off and then glue it to the paper. So she did a little bit different. Trial and error. See that one there, uh, it was a real fail because I didn't think. The colors were too similar to the actual background, and it, I mean, that one did not work at all. The one with the red, white, and blue and everything, so did not work at all. That one would have benefited from going on a white background, I think. And then we got two more, y'all. We got this. We got this. I do think there are so many possibilities, though, with this, um medium transfer <laughs> bless my heart i just went ripping into that and i ripped half that dang transfer off girl you need to be more gentle <laughs> and this is on that page too with the oxides that i think it was just it was it wasn't like it was dry but it wasn't you know what i mean so and it did up working out because i went with it and i just let you know it go but that one too, I ended up rubbing so hard on that one that I, you can maybe see it on the screen here. To her, um, it'd be our left if you're looking at it, right above her shoulder there. I took a big hunk out of the paper. So we're going to say that's distressed edges. <laughs> so live and learn, live and learn. I do like the effect that this um, little pattern made. And if you have any stress or anger or something, rubbing these little papers off, let me tell you, it works. It does good for you. <laughs> it was really nice. Definitely going to try this again, though. I never even thought to do this until I happened. I think I came across the um, Southern Gals Designs video uh, first. And I thought, well, holy crap, that's cool. I want to try that. So we're definitely going to give that another go. Um, cause there's just so many possibilities with this y'all, especially, I more so, um, the patterns and stuff I can make than the transfer of the focal images, though I do really like the vibe that it gives. I really like the patterns and the textures I'd be able to get. Could you imagine you would mix the, the transfer images that are not quite completely opaque with ones that you know magazine clips that you just glue straight on there that are completely opaque and would be 
glossy versus the image transfers, which would be more matte. There's just so many possibilities, and you know, the old noggin is firing up a little bit, so I'm excited about that. Y'all like my Christmas placemat there? <laughs> I use placemats. Ow, I just hit my knee if y'all heard that. I'm okay. It's all good. But, um, I'm going to show y'all those right there. How they turned out before we move on and I finish the pages off. But, I use placemats a lot. Um, I, after Christmas, you can find them 90% off. You can get them placemats for like 10, 20 cents. They make really good work surfaces. So, y'all can see there. And just for the sake of time in this video, we're going to go ahead and jump ahead to how I actually finish these pages. Because this video is getting really long. And y'all have seen me finish pages several times on other videos. So, all I'm going to be doing is, um, you know, adding... Um, a couple more magazine clips. I'm adding words to it. Uh, swirling around with a gel pen a little bit. Nothing out of the ordinary that I usually do. Because at this point, I tell y'all what. I just wanted to get these things done. <laughs> like I learned a lot. But class is over and I'm ready for the bell to ring. You know what I'm saying? So, it was so fun though to be able to spend... I think all in all, with um, if I don't count the drying time and things for the gel stuff, it, it really only took me a couple hours. So, super fun. But this next, uh, this last bit I'm going to show y'all, you will see what the finished pages look like. I tried to do um, different vibes on all of them and tried to make it work. Some, like I said, some were more successful than others. Uh, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you've already seen some of these, but let's show the images here. And so here's the first one, probably my favorite. Um, that was the one we put that engine or the gel in the back, gel, gears, <laughs> gears, not gel, Jennifer. Uh, we put that in the background. So I just added some, um, metallic paint and some gel pens and stuff. Again, the full image is on my Instagram. And then this is how this one turned out. I dug it. Oh my gosh. To me, it looks like the front of a, a crime novel or something. I just dig it. And then this one, it pretty much turned out. Um, I got the heat gun a little too close, so I kind of burned a hole in it. But we're going with it. We're going with it. It's all good. <laughs> And, um, moving on. This page, the one that the transfer didn't work, I just wanted to make it more abstract. I was trying to do stuff. I couldn't get nothing to work. So then I just randomly wrote, um, a bunch of lyrics to patriotic songs on there. This is my little dog. I tried to do a positive page. Y'all proud of me. And this girl that I about rubbed off, I tried to make it into a thing like she will not be forgotten. It seemed to work worked really well in my humble opinion and this one here I just added this focal images focal image with the um, words there I really like the way that it turned out and that's all of them for today thank you all so much for watching <laughs> and um, listening to me ramble do y'all like the more rambly chats like this or would you just like me to get to business? Like I would like to do a combo of each, but just let me know what you think. But thank y'all so much and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.